I'm Tim Davis, DevOps Advocate with M0. Today we're going to be talking about TerraTag. TerraTag is a CLI tool allowing for tags or labels to be applied across an entire set of Terraform files. Terraform will apply tags or labels to any AWS, GCP, or Azure resources. Now it's important to note that it will go through and check and find all the taggable resources because not all resources in the cloud are taggable. If we jump over to the repository here, we can see that it's a pretty simple install and then just a CLI to run. Now, if we jump into my Azure account, I've got several VMs here that are deployed for different things. I'm constrained where I have to have a specific naming structure inside of a specific resource group. Now, some people are like that. You may need tags for one reason or another, be it billing or organization, but it would be helpful for me if I could filter my VMs based on a specific project. Obviously, I don't have any right now. If we jump over into VS Code here, we can see that I've got my stuff deployed and everything's good. I've got my main.tf file. Let's go ahead and run TerraTag and add a tag to this specific project VM so that I can find it more easily. Let's jump over here so we can clearly see exactly what's happening. So I've got my TerraTag command here and it's going to add a tag with a key of project and a value of TerraTag. So let's go ahead and run that. Um, I'm not specifying a directory, so it's gonna run in the directory that I'm at. If you do wanna specify a directory, you can absolutely do that. If we jump back over into code, we can see that it's changed my main.tf into main.tf.back, and now I have a main.teratag.tf, which actually has those tags that are gonna be applied. Let's go ahead and get that deployed and see what happens. All right, looks like our deployment's done. Let's jump over into Azure here and see if it worked. Let's go and refresh. All right, add filter. Looks like we're good. Tags, project, value, Terra tag. VTimD slash VM is the winner. So now I can easily find my VMs that I'm looking for. Now let's take that a step further. If we jump over into our billing here, now I can see exactly what this specific project is costing me because I now have tags that I can filter by. And we can see. If you need more information, feel free to check out terratag.io. Make sure to like and subscribe for more tech and we'll see you next week.